welcome to another episode of Gentle Fit with Valerie. Today's workout is going to be strength with the elastic band. So if you have your elastic band handy, go get it and join me again to do the workout with me. So preferably, you have already done a warm-up. You could use one of the warm-up videos that I have, or you could do just some light calisthenics at home, go for a you know, five minute walk, pacing around the house and so on, just to get your muscles and your joints ready to move. So we're gonna start with some upper body strength exercise with the band. Start with putting your band behind your back, underneath your arms. You wanna grip it fairly close to your chest. You're gonna lift your elbows up, your palms are facing down. We're doing the chest press, pushing forward, Let's do the rest, both arms together. One more. This is 12 repetitions. If you wanna do a few more, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Next, we're gonna do shoulder external rotations. So bring your band in front, elbows are touching your sides, fists are facing each other. The external rotation is not a big motion and is very important for your rotator cuff muscle groups. So you want to try and stretch the band as you bring your fists towards the side. Keeping your elbows touching your ribs is the main focus here. As you stretch your arms out, squeeze those shoulder blades together. One more time. Perfect. You're gonna put one end of your band on the ground. Anchor it with both feet so it doesn't go flying away. Grip it in your fist. We're gonna have your hand facing in. Elbow is kept mostly straight. We're gonna do shoulder flexion. So that's lifting forward as high as you can go control back down. Breathe in, breathing out. Perfect, moving on to shoulder extension. So shorten your grip. Again, your hand is facing in. This time, you extend your arm towards the back. Try to move only from the shoulder. Don't twist your trunk to get the arm to move back further. One more time, perfect, switching to the other side. Good anchor, keep your band a bit on the longer side, starting with shoulder flexion, breathe in, lift up. It's important to just go within 
the range that you have available to you. Don't push it. It might improve over time with regular activity. But right now we're just trying to get you to do a bit more exercise. We're not trying to improve anything. So don't push into the pain. Extension, hand is facing in, bring that arm towards the back. Two more times. Great. A few exercises for the leg. You're going to put the center of your band around the mid part of your foot and you grip it close to the ankle. Lift that foot slightly above ground. We start with our knee extension, working the quads. So only move the leg. The arms are staying static next to your thigh. Last one, keep the leg straight, move a bit forward on your seat, heel is down, leg press, knee comes in towards the chest, pushing down towards the ground. Last two. Perfect. Same two moves with the other leg. Starting with our knee extension. Last one, staying forward on your seat if you moved back, heel is down, leg press, knee comes in, pushing down. One more time. Great. Put that band aside. Just gonna back up my seat a bit. Stay at the front of your chair. We're doing sit to stand. We're going for 12. Feet should be hip width apart. Knees, ankles, hips are about 90 degrees flexion. If you need to use your hands to push up, go right ahead. If you don't need them, try not to use them. And if you want more of a challenge, grab a weight so you have a bit extra resistance to uh, work against. Remember your breathing. We breathe out as we stand. Take a breath in as we are standing. Breathe out as we go to sit. Don't follow me, follow your breath. We're going for 12.
don't hesitate to take a break if you need it. Just enjoy your videos. You can pause at any point. Let's do two more. Last one. Perfect. Now we're going to stay standing for a few more leg exercises. Maybe I'll turn my chair this way. We're going to start with hip extension. So holding on to the chair if you need the extra support. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna keep your knee straight, kick your leg back, back to neutral. Two more times. Switch leg. Last one. Turn, you can stay facing your chair. I'm just turning so you can see. We're gonna do our heel raise. So feet pointing forward, hip width apart, go up onto your toes and down. Two more times. Great. Toes pointing out, and again, lift up those heels. One more. Excellent. That will conclude our strength with elastic band. Now make sure you go and stretch all of those muscle groups that we've just worked out so that you don't get too sore tomorrow. Thank you for watching.